So as many of you might know, I got myself a brand new iPhone 5 over Christmas. And I still had this iPod Touch 3rd generation 32GB with the faster processor laying around. And so I thought about doing some jailbreaking with it. And so I stumbled across this awesome tweak called Metroon, which basically it skins your iOS to look like the former Metro UI from Windows 8 and it gives you the Windows Phone 8 lock screen and all that kind of stuff. And so it looks a lot like the like Windows 8 with the charms bar and the applications and the overall theme and the notifications. But the cool part is, like Windows 8, you can still go back to the original old style UI, which in this case is regular iOS. So in my opinion, that that's what makes this skin so awesome, because you get the best of both worlds. And then also what I changed was in the notification center, you already had the weather widget, but I wanted to add it some to add some quick settings. And also I added this information widget which basically gives me things like the IP address of the iPod, the battery status, RAM usage, all that kind of fun stuff. And then also I went and changed a multitasking to use a, in my opinion, better style in which it shows you actually the applications it's, as kind of little flashcards and uh, screenshots of the apps instead of just the icons and it has some neat changes here and there also, also with uh, quick, change, uh, quick settings again which I don't really use but I just like the multitasking and the swapping away of the applications and yeah so what do you take away from it in my opinion it's really really awesome because you get a brand new UI that in my opinion looks really really good and you can still run the old iOS applications that you really love so you don't have to, let's say if you switch to Windows Phone 8, use the practically non-existent apps there. You can still use the iOS apps. You can still go back to the original iOS UI, which is really awesome. The only downside I've, I've encountered so far is the fact that since it's a third generation iPod Touch, it's really, really slow in parts. The UI itself is really smooth, but applications like Facebook and Twitter they, they really are slow, but that's just because it's an old iPod running iOS 5 under the hood. So overall, I would really recommend jailbreaking your secondary device, not merely, mainly your primary device, because jailbreaking allows you to run applications without signatures, and that, in my opinion, is kind of a safety risk. But since this is just my, my secondary device, I don't really mind too much and I really appreciate the UI changes and all the new UI and I really enjoy using it, although it's really, really slow at points. So overall, I would really recommend it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. For more awesome stuff like this, be sure to stay tuned and bye.